Has there been any changes in the disposition of the ration fleet? Vice Admiral. No Admiral Nerya, they are still arrayed in a small wall of battle, facing our approach. The Vice Admiral switched the main view screen to a representation of the ration fleet. We count 5 dreadnoughts and 18 battleships, plus a surprisingly large amount of cruiser and destroyer-sized vessels. Rebroadcast our demand to surrender, Vice Admiral. While I'm impressed such a minor species can feel that many dreadnoughts, if they fight, it will be a short engagement. Nerya hoped they didn't surrender. It had been too long since she had led the flashing hooves in battle. She also took some satisfaction in knowing that she would be showing those impertinent Dreden and humans how League Battle Fleet waged war. Admiral, we're receiving a transmission from the Dreden Human Joint Fleet. Nerya turned to the communications officer. Well, what is it? It's from the Human Admiral. It's as a warning. They believe that there is a second ration fleet hidden in the gas giant. They advise that we adjust course to veer away from the planet and then reapproach so that our wall of battle faces both the ration fleet and the gas giant. Nerya snorted angrily. Remind the human admiral. Nerya chewed out each world. That they are here as observers, not tactical advisors. If they offer any more unsolicited advice, their participation in this battle, even in observer capacity, will be terminated. The Gaul. Nerio realized that her hackle spines were nearly fully extended and made a conscious effort to retract them. It wasn't seemly for her to seem agitated in front of the crew. And ask what possible reason the human admiral would have to suspect there to be another ration force hidden in the gas giant. Nerya fumed as they waited for a reply. Without FTL communication, the delay was maddening. Admiral Nerya, the humans conveyed their apologies and have said that they will not make further tactical suggestions. The comm officer paused as the remainder of the message was received. As to why they suspect a second ration fleet, the human admiral has replied with, because that is what I would do. And that is why they are with the supply ships, and we are with the battle fleet. The vice admiral chuckled. They are cowards. Nerya scoffed. Tell them to watch the fleet carefully. We will show them what honor looks like. Five hours later, the League Wall of Battle made contact with the ration fleet. At the center of the battle wall, flashing hooves fired the first salvo, wide beam lasers reaching out across the void to the ration ships. The lasers themselves were invisible, but this near to a gravity well, the interplanetary medium had a density of 5 atoms per cubic centimeter, enough to create sparkling trails of excited hydrogen in the wake of each beam. Moments later, the rest of the fleet joined in. Scores of dreadnoughts and over a hundred battleships joined their fire to the flashing hooves, and the space between the fleets was awash with deadly laser fire. Good hits on ration dreadnoughts. The Vice Admiral reported. Damage estimates are lower than expected however. It seems their forward armor is thicker than anticipated. No matter. Nerio replied. Continue to close range and have the fleet narrow their beam focus for better armor penetration. Nerya blinked as one of the view screens flashed white as a ship in the ration formation exploded in a shower of fire. That was one of their battleships, Admiral. The first kill is ours. And their response. None yet, Admiral. They are holding their position and have not yet returned fire. Strange, muttered Nerya. If they can't match our weapons range, I would anticipate them to attempt to close the range as quickly as possible. Are we close enough for a visual of a ration ship? Put it on screen. It's time we see what we're dealing with. The main holo screen flared to life with an image of one of the ration dreadnoughts. Nerya felt a chill go through her bones and her hackle spines began to extend unconsciously. She was not the only one on the flashing hooves bridge with that reaction, she noticed. The ration ship was shaped like a blunted wedge, with numerous forward-facing weapon placements. 
the rear of the wedge tapered slightly until the taper reversed as it met huge engine cowlings at the anterior of the ship. Where league ships were almost always shaped like half spheres, presenting a hedgehog like array of defenses and weaponry to the enemy, while the flat portion of the half sphere contained their engines. The ration ship seemed to be designed for pursuit. Unbidden, the memory of the council meeting flashed in Neryo's mind. We believe they are a predator species. Neryo shook herself, metals ratting on her carapace. She was a Bonthan, leader of the combined fleet. She would not let herself be unnerved by this opponent, especially one that had not even drawn blood. Still, she didn't want to look at the ship on screen any longer. That's enough, Vice Admiral. They're just sitting there. If Nesh had eyelids, he would have squinted at the tack plot. As it was, he leaned forward in his acceleration couch. And no return fire. What are the ration doing? Icons on the holographic tack plot showed the League fleet closing with the ration battle wall, which held its position. Admiral Davies sighed. It's as I feared. They're letting the League fleet come to them, drawing them coreward. Once the League fleet is fully committed, they'll make their move. Isn't there something we can do, Admiral? Admiral Davies shook her head. I don't think there is, Ambassador. Every attempt at warning Admiral Nerya has been rebuffed. I'm afraid if we press the issue, we'll be ordered to jump out of the system. All we can do now is try and ensure that some of the League fleet lives through the day. Suddenly, the tack plot shifted. The ration battle wall dissolved in space, reforming into arrow-shaped formations that began to accelerate toward the League ships. From each ration battleship and dreadnought, more icons emerged, hundreds of tiny contacts on the tack plot. They've released skirmishers, Admiral. Davies Flag Lieutenant reported. I want full power to our scanners, launch recon drones, the Admiral replied. I want as much data from this engagement as possible. Set condition two throughout the fleet. Davies turned back to Nesh, seated at her side. It's begun. I'll have to ask you to hold your questions for the time being, Ambassador Nesh. Of course, Admiral. Nesh nodded. Fly your fleet, and good luck to us all. Aboard the flashing hooves, Admiral Nerya was at a loss to explain the ration's behavior. Their entire wall of battle had disintegrated and reformed, and now instead of facing a traditional battle wall, the League fleet was closing with five ration formations that were angling to the sides of the League battle wall each formation led by one of the ration's dreadnoughts. What's more, the ration's cruisers and destroyers had formed up into these formations, and hundreds of tiny craft had emerged from the ration capital ships. Author's name and the link to original text is in the description. Consider tapping the thumbs up and pressing the subscribe button if you want to listen to the subsequent parts of this story.